is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Asuka, Dakota Kai, and Carrie. Finn! Damage control. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. horse what are you talking about yeah what horse the high horse this superstar always seems to be on did jerry lawler write that line for you Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. The EST of WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, she's early in her WWE career, but Bianca Belair already might be considered one of the best. And here's the thing, she's only gonna get better. You're right, Cole, it's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself. Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. Two stacked multi-superstar teams set for action in this tag contest. You have to wonder if some of these alliances are tenuous at best. It's rare to get two superstars on the same page, add any more to the equation, and it's basically a miracle. Danger with an elbow to the stomach. Oof. Oh, saw it coming. Bianca Belair three times. And the 
the power slam to follow. Quick tags are so key to victory in a six-woman tag team match. But at what point do you just ride the hot hand and let one competitor take charge? Well, it's always good to go in with a team-based strategy, but if someone seems to have things in hand, I say let it ride. The benefit of a three-woman team is there are two superstars who can eventually jump in if the lead woman gets tired. Behavior. There was no respect shown there. Watch out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. <laughs> Strong knee connects. Driven into the barricade. Shoulder to the gut. No way. Power bomb to the floor. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Dakota doing what she can to alter the beatdown. If Kai was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Boom. Knee to the face. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Full court press being applied to Kai. Ah, oh, she's trying. Trying to create space. She needs to get back in. Toss back into the ring. Oh, yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Impressive reversal there. Yeah, she's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Tag is made. Tandem offense on its way. Up into a belly to back suplex with a drop kick. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Why not look like a million bucks when hitting something that effective? But teammate makes the save. And just in time. Step ahead of Bianca there. Last ah, step there. Picking up speed. Penalty kick. Face Buster. Able to get there in time. From behind. Back suplex. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Oh, oh. Check out this outrageous power from the EST. Gorilla Press into the standing moonsault. Oh, my gosh. She says, no thanks. Goodness gracious. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Oh, put down face first. Look at this. Boom, nice. 
Miss Molly. And she'll make the tag.